Okay, so we just finished rolling. We are going to, it is the middle of the night over here at our game, by the way. So what we're going to look at first is the birthdays and the death. So we're going to do all of that stuff in the middle of the night. We're going to do all the trying for babies in the middle of the night. Now, these three people are pregnant. Claire, Elizabeth, and Ingrid got pregnant in 1411, and they will go into labor during the day. But hopefully from now on, all of our labors will be at night. And so I was hoping, or I am hoping, that if I do birthdays, weddings, try for babies outside of our main household, all the side families, if I take care of them during the night, and then I can go back to my house in the morning, and I will have a whole day of playing. So we'll be able to do more things at our main house. That at least is my hope. So I am looking at this and I do see that Isaac Summer has a birthday and Dawn Summer is dying. And that is their daughter, Dawn. So I'm going to go over there if she still lives at home, which I think she does. I'm going to go over there first and then we will roll spin for how she died and we will do his birthday, and then we will just move along. And the last thing we'll do is get Ace Wickerson married. Okay, here is little Celine Goodwin, who is dying of scarlet fever. She, oh, first, I thought I was recording over at Kai Miller's house where Dawn Summer is living. She died, and I thought I was recording that, and I was not. So anyway, she was 22 years old. I entered all of her information, and she died during a robbery. Anyway, now I need my percentage wheel. I'm going to get it out over here and bring it over. Okay, so actually I can't till I see all the people in the house. So in adults... Or anybody older than a child, so teens as well, so William will be in this role, they only have a 25% chance of catching it. So if it is 0 to 25, then they catch it. If it's larger than that, they don't. So first, we're starting with Dad, William, and he does not get it. And then we roll for Mom. This is Lindsay. She does not get it. And then we're going to roll... For William, the oldest sibling, who is older than a child, and he does not get it. So for the children, because it is more contagious for them, they have a 40% chance of getting it. So the children, I have to remember all their names. We have Urian, Evelyn, Orvis, and Lucius. Okay, so Urian is first, 40% this time. He does not get it. Then Evelyn is next. She does not get it. Wow. And then we have Orvis, who also does not get it. And then finally, the youngest baby, Lucius, who also does not get it. Everybody rolled spun high numbers this time. So that is fantastic. Okay, so we are just going to have her die. I'm going to have her die from hunger. Let's see what that if that works. Oh, oh it does. Okay. It's very loud, though, so I'm going to zoom out some. Anyway, Lucia's got the coup milestone in the middle of all of this sadness over here. Let me turn their voices off for a little while over here. I cannot believe how many good ones there are. I'm so happy about it. I mean, I'm real sad about Celine, but I can't believe so many of them leave. All right, so we're going to strengthen her connection and do her engraving. And she was two years old, almost turning three. Grim has just sat down on their computer and started playing. Really, Grim? Lucius is screaming. Okay, I'm leaving this out. Okay, now nothing but good news. We're headed over to the Miller house in Ireland. And Mark Miller becomes a child in the middle of the snowstorm. It's officially winter. All right, babe. Here we go. A perfectionist. Okay. Did I age up the wrong person? How come he all of a sudden got long blonde hair? Wasn't his hair not blonde? I literally don't know what he looked like five seconds ago. But, okay, we're going to say he has blonde hair. Did his mom have blonde hair? Hell. But I feel like she did, right? Look at this. All these tiny babies are ones that died, and we technically got them taken away, but... Lenata didn't get married, 
And Isaac and Larkin both live in Ireland, and Elijah lives in Romania. And he has five lives. That looks awesome. Look at all these, Oliver and Quentin, and then the twins, Edmund and Elijah. But it doesn't go back any further than that. Huh. Anyway, I just got sidetracked. Let me go uh, take a picture of this babe. Okay, here is Mark Miller. Seriously, I don't know what he looked like as a toddler, and that was like five seconds ago. Anyway, more birthdays. All right, we just came over here to give Isaac some more gray hair and a little bit of a bigger beard, and here he is, old man Isaac. Just turned 40 years old, and we only have one more birthday today and then a wedding. Okay, it is time for Evan to become a teenager. Let me make sure I'm on the right person. They're not at home. I don't even know where they are, but it does not matter because they can age up. So maybe their dad, it's Evan Whoa. and Winston, is out here with Arthur. So maybe their dad brought them somewhere as a celebration. He is a slob and a dog lover. Now for them being a teen, this is the same aspiration that they have as an adult. So what? We changed this up a little bit, but we'll we'll see how it goes in just a second. Pick a number 1 to 15. 11. That royalty does not count, so we skip over it, and it is nature. The B doesn't count, so that is number 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pick a number 1 to 8. It's 2. So that says eco-innovator, which does not mean anything in this game, so his life doesn't change based on his roles. He stays just like he would be, and he gets married in five years, and nothing except we need to go take his picture, and his little brother is picking on him, apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh, he looks so much like his dad. Look at his freckles. Oh, he's just like a copy of his dad. That is so funny. I'm not going to give him the same exact hair, he does have these super tiny hips that he's, look at this. His weight thing is actually a little above, above like middle. There's no way that this child is considered above, like, I don't know, whatever the middle is. Would that be average? This child is not above average in weight. It's so frustrating to me, but it's fine. Anyway, their colors are blue. And so... Let's pick out, look at these. I'm sure let's get him something cute blue. I like this one, but let's look. Ooh, I like this deep color blue. Okay, here is Evan Price. Oh my gosh, so much like his dad. So much. And that's it. We just have a wedding to go do. So what we're going to do is move them into the main house. I know it's still the middle of the night, so I'm ignoring the people who actually live in our house. But we're going to do the wedding, and then after the wedding, we're going to uh, send them back to their house and then come back and play our house. And it's still like 4 o'clock in the morning, so once we go do another try for baby and then we do the wedding, it should be time to get up and do chores and start our day. And it's the beginning of winter, so we will be planting crops. Okay, Ace is going to be marrying Leah Neal. I did give her some eyelashes. I'm wondering if I put eyelashes on them, if that stops them from automatically putting on sunglasses or the glasses. So she may be my test subject. But anyway, she is going to be marrying Ace today. So let's go do that. So All right, please. here we go. Well, no, no, I didn't mean to go really fast. I want to get the proposal. Here we go. Yay, will you marry me? And she says yes. Wonderful. Nice. She managed to kiss him around the nose, so that was great. <laughs> okay, now, 5.30 in the morning. It's taking longer than I wanted to, but we're here. Go get married. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, it's a vampire. I mean, a werewolf. I literally thought somebody was on fire. Look at her pregnant belly. I love it. Ooh, a breath. Elizabeth, you're the best. Oh, stop staring at that cobweb and go get in the go to the bathroom. All right, everybody else is up, but they're all already hungry. Actually, Alice is doing fine. I totally forgot we actually had a wedding going over here. So it is the first day of winter. I know, but 
Fourteen twelve. Okay, that was weird. Oh, there we go. I was like, are they married? Because it didn't do the normal stuff. All right, congratulations. Kiss and confetti. Now, go in the barn. All right, Harris is the only one asleep, and he's asleep in the dang treehouse. Harris Marie Miller. <laughs> Get yourself over here and go to sleep in this bed. All right, Miss Elizabeth, you actually need to go to sleep, too. She thinks she's going to do some laundry. You know what? I'm going to let you finish that laundry. It's clean, but I know if she picks it up right now, it's not going to work. Are y'all in there? White hen. Absolutely not. Okay, they're in there. Uncle Kellen, get out here and handle these. I don't know what that noise was. Kellen was going out to sleep in the thing as well. Maybe when I get here in the mornings, I will need to cheat their sleep just a little bit. Not all the way up, but so that it they at least have had some sleep and are ready to start the day. Because we're assuming while we're gone to do birthdays and stuff that they are at least... Look, is everybody going to sleep in the dang treehouse? You guys have beds of your own if you're that tired. Y'all are killing me with all this. She headed to the treehouse? No, she's going to clean a coop. Stop sweeping in here and go to the bathroom. Everybody's tired. All right, Harris, you're going to have to get up. Harris is cheerful. So sweet. Come get some leftovers. Ace Wickerson, if you are finished in the barn, your next job is to leave my house, not sit down and eat our food. Oh my gosh. Where did Leah go? At least Leah's cleaning things up. She's like, let me throw this stuff away. Okay. Ace. He really needs to go to the bathroom too, so I do need to get them out of my house. So let me get them moved. I was honestly trying to let her throw that away. Okay, so let me get them moved, and then we'll come back and play. Y'all do not want to know all the mess I just had to go through to get us, to get them moved out of our house. And it is 8 o'clock in the morning. I feel like I have been playing this game forever, and we are just now getting started. And he's out here feeding these babies. So I'm actually sending everybody to bed until I get our crops situated and how it's all going to go. And then I definitely will tomorrow. I mean, the next time we come to their house, I will definitely... Oh, no, he can use this toilet over here and go to bed. But I will cheat their sleep needs just a little bit. All right, let's see. I know it seems to me like you've been doing laundry forever and ever, but I know that you haven't. Look at how wet it is all around this. That's not normally how it is, huh? Agonal. Oh. She's just out here singing and doing the clothes. Let's see. Used, of course. They were pristine when she took them out and used by the time she got them in there. Whatever. I just, I cannot care about that right now. All right, she's out here milking the thing, and we are going to look at our crops. All right, here are our crops for the 1400s. And for winter, we have onion, spinach, and pear. And that's it. So we already have some onions planted. We're going to plant another row of onions, and we'll have spinach on the other side. And then now we can do lettuce, and we can do lemons. I'm pretty sure that we already have a lemon tree so I'm going to look and see if we do over in our orchard. Y'all, the group of trees that produce fruit is called an orchard. <laughs> I can never think of that word. I should just write it down like orchard so then I would remember. Okay, anyway. Oh my gosh, this game was going in super fast forward because everybody was asleep. Okay, so the carrot plants are going to come up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two rows of onions on this side and two rows of spinach on this side. And then I think in the little break right here, I'm going to plant a couple of pear trees. We've got pear trees over here, but for some reason I want them on the other side. We do not have any lemons, it looks like. Is this a lemon? Nope, that's a wild pear. What about this tree? Also pear. Okay, so maybe we don't have any lemons. I thought for some reason there was a lemon tree around here. Anyway, that does not matter. I think I will, though, have them come harvest from this. Let me get on Kellen. And I'm going to have him harvest. Oh, he can't. It hasn't sprouted yet. What about this one? No. Because our pears over here are perfect. 
And while that's okay with me and that's good, I wanted us to start our pair thing out here for the new season with a not perfect thing. Anyway, again, like I said, that doesn't really matter. I'm going to get him out here handling the chicken stuff. And then I will, because I have to move these one at a time to get rid of them slash sell them or whatever. So we will get our boy Harris out here to clean the coops. Maybe. Nope, that coop does not need to be cleaned. There we go. Okay, and like I said, we'll leave this row of onions and we'll just put a new row of onions in. I'm already getting the notification that says it's too cold to plant. So I am going to bring our pots in here like we usually do. These are like normal chores that I guess Harris and Kellen would do. Like go grab the pots and bring them in so that we can get things planted and start growing inside. We don't have anything except for this one piece of spinach so far that needs to come inside. But then I was going to, I need, I mean, need to check out, oh my gosh, I can't even say words right. I need to check out the refrigerator and wait, did that say it's spoiled? Yes, of course. Wow. Okay. I need to get the stuff out of the refrigerator that they can plant, which again, it's just the onions. There are some onions and I think we only need, I'll look and see, six of them. And then I kind of think the bad news is that we do not have any more spinach. That is right. We are completely out of spinach. So only the one they have planted out here and this one in here is all the spinach they're going to have for right now. I don't know if this one's perfect. Oh, it is perfect. Okay. Whoops. I did not mean to go back to building. Anyway, he's going to come in here and plant it. And then once it, once they uh, grow or whatever it's called, bloom, then we will put them out here and, um, oh, see, I just put them all here and he can't plant any of them. Really? That was dumb. All right. We're only putting five in there for now. He's going to come plant them. Once they're all planted and ready to go in the ground, then I will transplant them out to the ground. Uh -huh. So he also, I don't think he cleaned up anything, but we're going to let Kellen, Kellen's going to plant our big crops and we're going to do, let's see, it's winter. So we'll probably do mushroom and lettuce, mushrooms on one side and lettuce on the other. I don't know. I might look more asymmetrical if I do like mushroom, lettuce and mushroom, lettuce. I don't know. This is me overthinking things a lot. Okay. Purchase oversized crop seeds. Lettuce seeds. We need six and six mushrooms. He is very tense. Why? Not enough active? What are you doing right now, Kellen? Like you're literally working outside. How is this not active? All right. So go ahead and put in your um, votes for how many of these you think is actually going to plant and how many of them is going to go into our inventory. And then I will have to plant them myself okay wow he not only got them all planted but watered them and they all jumped right up so fantastic i'm gonna go ahead i see already it says object place in family inventory with the very first one i'm gonna go ahead and move this spinach out here along with our second row of onions okay so so far two of them have planted and two of them have not oh and we have an egg ready to hatch Ida is tense from what? Not having enough music? Oh my gosh. Ida, why don't you come and hatch this egg? Okay, so four of them worked and two of them didn't. And then over here on Harris's side, two of them didn't. I mean, only one of them didn't work. So that's not actually better. I mean, that's better than I was expecting. Uh, where did they go? They were right here and then they ran away. Ugh, it did this last time on a different one that I was playing. That sucks. So I guess I'm gonna have to buy more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Harris fertilize with everything that he has first. So I guess I put all these eggs in here to hatch at the same time and now they're all popping up saying that they're ready to hatch. 
I can't tell you how many times I've heard that chicken noise uh, that they're ready to hatch. I guess the only ones that are left are these two. So I'm going to send her out here, I guess, to do it. Oh, Harris found some manure. He was over here harvesting the prairie grass, or he is harvesting the prairie grass. Um, I tried to plant these one more time, one more of these and two more of these, and that was it. It didn't, it wouldn't do anything else. It wouldn't do it the second time. So I was like, well, oh, there is an egg here. Do you think that one's ready to hatch? Yes, it is. So she's going to come out here and just hatch all the eggs. However, right now, she is out here knitting in the cold. She's real cold, but she likes it. She is going to be in her third trimester at some point over the nighttime. We were wa are waiting still to get some more spinach to be able to plant. And then I'm waiting for these plants out here. Nope, where are they? They're on this side. To be harvestable. So they should be tomorrow. I should be able to harvest them. And we will uh, put those out there. Oh, I'm missing one of my plants. Oh, she finished her project. Nice. All right, so I'm going to move this plant out here. Okay, great. Here we go. She needs to go to the bathroom. I mean, of course. She's almost in her third trimester. I feel like that's all you do in your third trimester is go to the bathroom. And because it plays that music when they're hatched or when it's telling us they're ready to hatch, oh my gosh, it's just double the number of times. I am going to let her go to the bathroom and then she can come back over here. So, let's see. Grandma made some carrot pudding, and she's eating some. Where'd you put it, Ida? Fishushi. Oh, Claire Miller has gone into labor. That's so funny. I was like, shouldn't we have had a baby at some point today? Did she put this away? No. Where is the carrot pudding? I don't see it anywhere. Um, clearly, she made it. She didn't put it in this room. Let me make sure there are no shelves in here that she would have put it on. But I'm pretty sure I got rid of the shelves a while ago because of this very reason. So now I don't know where the carrot pudding is. Surely it's not just one serving of carrot pudding. No, I know it's not. I've done it a ton of times. Okay, Claire, I'm sorry. We're coming to your house to have the baby. And then we're just going to go ahead and do all of our stuff for tomorrow because we'll probably be at her house through the tomorrow all right Claire she has oh my gosh diaper trash I'm just gonna move it where it's not something I have to look at no we're not setting the table <laughs> oh my gosh me accidentally clicking on things all the time all right she has three oh, oh girl that's loud let me get that off here okay she has three children two girls and a boy and we are definitely in the alphabet. Another girl. All right, let me check. So the last name we had was an M name. And the next one is an N name. So we're going to go with Nala. That is one of the options that you guys have given me. Oh my gosh, I need you to calm down. I need you to calm down. Okay, let me get the roller up here. First, we're rolling for mom. She lives. And now baby girl Nala, she lives. Even though it's a one and it looks bad, she still lives, which is exactly what we want. All right, let's go. Age her up. Maybe she'll have blonde hair finally. Let's see. No. <laughs> Every child that has grown up in this house has dark hair like dad. Ooh, sensitive baby girl. All right, let's go over and get her cute little picture taken. Okay, this dress is way too long to be practical, but if I zoom in for her picture, it's cute. So here is Nala Miller. Okay, well, I think this is probably a good place to stop. We will pick up in the next video doing Monday, which we have one, two, three, four, five birthdays, two deaths, and another wedding on this day. And no babies will be born on this day. So uh, we at our main house, though, will be in our third trimester. But I liked doing it like this. It still takes a lot of time. And I know that this video is going to be a lot shorter than the hour and a half long videos that we've been doing. But 
I, for at least right now, while my real life and my real job that pays me money is getting a little bit more busy and more hectic, I need the the time away or the break away. So um, I'm still going to be putting out the videos the same way that I have been. They will just be much shorter and only part of a year. I don't think that it's going to just be one day per video, but it could be, honestly. I am just playing it like the way I want to play it and trying not to let myself feel rushed and just in that playing if it happens to go further then it goes further and if not then it doesn't but I'm going to take us to the Klein house I'm literally just trying to figure out where in the world they actually live here we go and their baby boy Marcus is having a birthday so we're heading over there and that's where we're going to pick up the next episode. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.